Good morning, lovelies. So, my name is Nikki. I am a recovering slobaholic, and um, I just wanted to use this channel for accountability, and you'll hear me say that a couple of times in this video, because I recorded um, for the whole last week. So, you know, you start something, and then you chicken out, and then you start something, and you chicken out, and then you push a little harder, and today I'm going to get this video posted. Dog on it. So, um, Steph from The Secret Slob has these awesome printables, and she has, um, along with Dawn from The Minimal Mom, has influenced me so strongly to minimize my house and to uh, just live a cleaner lifestyle, a simpler lifestyle. So I am on day five after um, like three weeks now. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep pushing through because we're all about progress and not perfection. And I will give you a glimpse of this past week, starting with last Saturday, and uh, carry you through. Each day I do a little bit more, and I did really great all the way through Thursday. And I don't know what happened. Thursday we got home late, and Friday um, we had pizza for dinner, and neither day we really made that much of a mess. So I just left it. But the problem with that is now I have two not much of a messes, that are kind of a big mess. So um, at the end of the video, I will show you what I woke up to this morning. And um, being Sunday, we have worship. And when we get home, I'm going to shine my kitchen back up and get it going again. And then we will um, do short little videos all week long. And um, I'm so glad you're here. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy taking a peek at my messy house. Have you ever been trying to cook dinner and you're distracted by the mess of your kitchen? This is what I got going on. The counters are completely crazy. This is my hot spot. If you ever have done Fly Lady before, she talks about having a two minute hot spot, and I have not put this fire out yet. So this is my island counter kind of thing in my kitchen and it just everybody puts everything there this is the rest of the kitchen so I have um, inspirational things up here um, God bless the Keurig I have dishes in my sink I have dishes in my drain board I think I actually have except for that one dirty bowl an empty dishwasher so we're we're in the right place we're gonna start working on that um, and just stuff is everywhere. It just makes it really hard to stay focused on on the on the footage, on the footages when you're trying to when you're trying to like I can't even talk. It's that bad. There's so much mess and clutter around me. I just can't hardly stand it. So now we're gonna walk into the living room. So this is my son's toys and my husband's desk area. The living room hot spots, the living room floor completely cluttered with junk. Um, the bookshelf, giveaway stuff, uh, books that I want to give away, a radio that we can't hardly even use because there's so much stuff. The piano is completely junked up. My kitchen table is sort of clean, but it's got just stuff from the day thrown on it. And my lunch from Thursday, ew. My desk is kind of clean. And the bathroom is a mess. There's a toilet paper roll that never seems to make it to the trash can. And, um... Okay, so I had to fix a couple of things. My phone died, number one. <laughs> So now that it has a little charge on it, and it's a little bit later, um, I also realized I had been filming in um, portrait and I needed to be in landscape, so I fixed that. And uh, I went ahead and loaded the dishwasher. So I'm gonna start back 
um, on this 21 days thing and do it as day one. Um, sorry for the lighting because all my kids are asleep and I don't want to wake them up. So I'm using minimal lighting. Um, so here I am and I'm going to shine my sink and we'll just start back over because every day can be day one. So um, I already have the dishes in the dishwasher so I'm not going to um, wash what's in here because I'm tired. It's late. I'm just going to simply take everything out of it and um, shine up my sink because that is the beginning of the fly lady journey and um, it's amazing how wonderful it is to wake up and have a clean sink um, dumping things out over there and this just kind of sometimes becomes a stack up process and and you um, you just get everything out of it and shine it up and make it pretty. I'll show you the after in just a minute. the dirty rag over into the um, dirty clothes pile which of course is right in the middle of the kitchen floor right isn't that where everybody is and you pull out your towel of the day for the next day and since today is Saturday I pulled out my Sunday towel and I'm getting a new washcloth out for the kitchen sink and voila shiny sink ready for bed well hi there so it's Monday afternoon. I made it through Sunday um, for the 21 days to a clean home based on the secret slobs um, list that I showed you the other day, the printable that she made. Um, all I needed to do was get dressed to shoes in the morning, which I do every morning, and then um, to have a shiny sink when I went to bed. So both of those are checked off. And now um, I'm home from work. It is Monday evening, we've had dinner. Um, all of my kids are playing on their own. It's a wonderful thing. And I just wanna show you how very little progress I have made um, since my last video. So here we go. This is the stove, still with some of those dishes on it. This is some soup from dinner. This is my little helper. Hi. <laughs> um, we have some new things on the counter and some other things have disappeared. I got this new cleaner from Aldi. I think I'm gonna like it, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, I use a lot of apple cider vinegar, so that's what that's all about. Um, I think those are the same dishes from Saturday. I have new dishes in the sink. Um, those are from lunch and those are our dishes from dinner. We're actually pretty good at loading. Um, that's awesome. But the island has not changed. There is still just so much junk of clutter. I have the griddle out for making grilled cheeses. A new basket of laundry is here. I have folded and put away the other one. One of my kids did not eat. He went to bed um, just because he was tired. Uh, I have some school stuff out and just... Um, getting ready for work for tomorrow. Um, we have under um, that messy island counter, we have a backpack area. I just hung up some double hooks. So this is me and Simon's hook, and there's Ayla's hook, and Zachary's got his Bible on his hook, and Wesley has some old swim trunks on his that don't fit anybody. We need to let those go. Um, a lot of us put our shoes right under them, and I'm not sure why the empty egg box is there. The living room has been cleaned up. Can't you tell? <sighs> yeah. 
So um, it has been cleaned up probably three times since my last video. Um, but of course I have all these little kids, so it gets messy again. Um, and then I wanted to show you the current state of the bathroom. See, the desk is still picked up pretty well. Um, oh, it's dark in here. Dark, dark, dark. I apologize for the lighting. So, um, there's a pair of socks on the counter, some cleaning stuff, some lotion stuff. Um, the toilet's pretty clean. I try to swish and swipe that. Um, it looks like there's some toilet paper shreds on the ground. Um, and then the ever constant battle with the laundry. I normally have a basket right there and the kids are pretty good at putting their clothes in the basket if the basket's there. If it's not, they still put them there. So um, that's, that's about where we are today. Bathtub's relatively clean and um, yeah. So, you know, we just kind of do what we do and we keep working at it and progress, not perfection. So I'm going to keep trying today. I'm going to get uh, my sink shined and I'm going to, well, I already dressed the shoes because it's Monday and I had to work today. And then I think the next thing um, was maybe to make the bed. Let me look. Number three, no, it's the two minute hot spot. Yay, I get to work on this horrendous mess. And I'm gonna work on it for a solid, maybe four minutes, I might cheat. But it's gonna be at least two minutes um, so that I can earn that check mark for today. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so all of my littles are asleep, or at least they're supposed to be. But I wanted to show you guys what I had done overnight over not overnight over the last hour and a half part of it was eat um, dinner and part of it was just tidy part of it was put the baby to bed but I did another two loads of laundry and um, I got my kitchen cleaned ish right we're doing all about progress and not perfection so my sink has been well this side has been shined and this side has not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, but I found the countertop all the way around. I found my stove top and cleaned it off um, to a degree. I still have some burnt on yuck here and some burnt on yuck there. Um, but look at this counter. This was just about five minutes of tidying and putting away. So I didn't really get to that side but I feel like I made so much headway over here that it just felt good and I wanted to keep going, but I didn't want to burn out. So I went ahead and stopped and, um, and I'm just so excited. Now I have three baskets of laundry that are clean that need to be put away. So I'm going to try to sneakily do that while everybody's asleep and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. God bless. Okay, hi there. We made it to Tuesday evening. So I just finished dinner with the kids and we had tacos and I love tacos, super yum. So now it is time for cleanup and time to do a two minute tidy on the kitchen and see how much further I can get. And then um, I also need to shine my sink and that's all I have to do today. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here so that you guys can see our dinner aftermath. So we had tacos, there's still some condiments out from other nights of dinner, there's screwdrivers, there's my makeup bag, which I'm obviously not wearing. Um, this is the other side of the counter where the backpacks and stuff go. Um, it's getting, I'd like to think it's getting a little better, but it's still just crazy, it's just crazy. This one I managed to keep clean except for one skillet, aha! Um, I'm making my dad chili because he loves it. And that counter is where I prep all of our food. There's avocado shells there, um, skins, whatever you want to call them. And I just have a few dishes in the sink. The dishwasher is still empty. Um, so I'm going to empty the drain board and load the dishwasher up with these few dishes. And anything that needs to be washed by hand, I will just go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, I think I'm also going to do a good little swish and swipe in the bathroom um, because it's just not, um, it's not terrible, but there's cat food on the counter. It just needs to be cleaned off. I did 
tidy the counter a little bit this morning. Um, the toilet still looks okay. And those three little pieces of toilet paper trash are still down there. Tonight is trash night. So all of our cans will be emptied out. On a headway in the kitchen, I actually found the dining room table. Um, I did put away the laundry, but I didn't do anything in the bathroom or the living room. But that's okay. We're doing better than we were last week. So let me show you the table. We've had quite a few little art projects. So there is um, like paint that just will not come off here and there. Um, I don't know how to get it off. So, um, but look at the countertop I found. Like the bags are still kind of messy, but like it's so much better. And I found the stove top. Um, I've packed up the chili. I need to take it down to my dad. And like everything's all beautiful, ready for the morning. And we got out the new Wednesday towel. So um, we're ready for tomorrow. So I will see you again then. God bless and have a good night. Good morning. I just got up and showered and got dressed to shoes. And then I walked out into my kitchen and I saw the progress I had made. And it's just amazing. It feels so much better in here. I mean, I got to walk out to a clean table and a clean counter and it it almost makes me cry I'm so happy have a good day so this is my island little counter thing there's the smoothie I just made I loosely follow trim healthy mama and some of their recipes I really like and some of them not so much but that one's good. Um, pizza boxes from last night, watermelon from Simon this morning. That bag has dirty bowls in it from work. All of my cabinet doors are open. My poor husband, he does not like that. <laughs> um, let's see, messy sink, messy sink. The dishwasher is full of clean dishes. The table is not too bad. It's got some yeah. library books on it, no. um, an empty laundry basket. There goes Simon. Um, this is a shot of the living room. The floor is very much better. I was actually able to vacuum it, but now it has shoes and pillows and my weights. The end table has turned into a hot spot. I have done nothing with my giveaway pile, or that pile, or that pile. <clears throat> Ow. Hello, lovelies. So, for any of you moms out there, you know what it is to um, sneak away and hide from your kids. <laughs> so, here I am, sitting on my back porch. It is kind of late, um, and everybody is still awake. Um, I was planning to post this video on Sunday and to be respectful of your time I tried to shorten several clips and did a voiceover and um, I'm new to all this and I'm not doing very good but I hope it helps somebody that's the whole point of doing these is to to help somebody to let you know that you're not alone in your mess so I am currently on day six and it is Wednesday, not Monday. So, um, yeah, I've gotten a little sidetracked. Um, I did accomplish all of my check marks for day six. If you watch The Secret Slob, Steph has a 21 day challenge and um, that printable is free. And day six, there is a weekly plan. And for whatever reason, that was hanging me up. I just was having a really hard time watching that video, um, sitting down to make the plan, printing out the free, amazing, good printable. I don't know, I just had a really hard time with it. So um, I sat down and printed it off and watched the video. And the video is just like four minutes long. It's nothing, you know? 
and it's a really good video. It's self-explanatory. You fill out the top two little squares. You don't even worry about the whole thing, but for some reason I was intimidated and scared to do this step. So um, here we are. Um, I guess we're closer to four weeks in now and I'm still on day six. So we're slowly getting there, but I'm taking baby steps. We're still shining the sink every night and I'm working on that two minute hot spot. I'm getting dressed to shoes every day, which I do anyway. Um, my husband is still in the bed when I get up in the morning, so I don't make the bed. And I'm okay with that. I typically make it up right before I go to sleep because who wants to fight their sheets all night long? Um, I do love a made bed though. Uh, when we are on more of the same schedule, I do try to keep it made throughout the day. And I love that, but that's not where we are right now. And I'm okay with that. So I finished day six and I feel like we're doing strong. Um, my kitchen looks great. I actually swept the floor um, and mopped it. In the beginning of the video, there's a, a shot where you can see me getting the rag out of the cabinet and the floor is disgusting. I mean, it, there's no excuse for it. It's just gross. So I swept the floor today and I mopped the floor today and it was a really big job. Not because it was bad, but because I've spent all day in the bed and in the bathroom. I have been sick with a stomach bug and it's no fun. Um, but I really felt like I wanted to get those things done so I used the little bit of energy I had to knock that chore out. And I feel much better um, for doing that. Uh, I do not feel much better physically though. My stomach is killing me. Um, so I'm gonna wind up this video now and um, go ahead and get it posted for you guys so you can actually see all the work I've been doing and hopefully come along for the ride. I would love if you subscribed. Um, if you're not ready for that, that's okay. Um, you can like the video, uh, that helps me a lot. And um, let me know in the comments if there's something else that you wanna see or if you have tips like how to get the stinking paint off my table or um, just, I, I will do my best to read and respond to each of the comments um, that I come across and um, I look forward to getting to know you guys and I hope that you are inspired by the progress that I have made and that you are able to make some progress in your own kitchen and house. God bless and have a good night.